Hi everybody, my name is Navitz, and don't worry if I'm missing a face, I'm here representing my esports team, the Sploosh Troop, and I'm going to show you how you can use cool effects like this, or this, oh! <laughs> or something like this while streaming on Twitch. What I'm going to do is quickly explain how you can install Snap Camera on your own with the filters. I'm going to quickly show you how you can set it up with any streaming software. And then I'll dive into a more in-depth review of Snap Camera itself, how it works, and talk about the Twitch extension. So we are here actually on the snapcamera.snapchat.com page. All of this information will be available below in the description. Uh, so you can get that there. You can also like, subscribe, and comment. You know, beautiful stuff like that. You download and install Snap Camera. After you do that, you will have an application that looks like this and when you go into this application you get the ability to select different filters for your face so as you can see I'm doing it there but now how do I get that that filter onto this person who's here that's the question that you guys want answered uh, so actually let's stop putting different effects on let's Let's do that one and let's bring our streaming software over. So I am using OBS. There's OBS, there's OBS Live, and then there's Slobs, Streamlabs OBS. This is OBS Studio. Essentially what you do is you have a web camera source. So when you add a source, you will go down here, you'll click video capture device. This will be so somewhat similar in any uh, program that you're using. I already have a couple, so I'll just edit the one I already have. I have full size Steve cam. So if I right click on this and I go to properties, this is what you get when you set up your camera for the first time. When you set your device after you install Snapchat camera, you will have Snap camera available. Now Snap camera uses another one of your cameras. For me, it is one of my Logitech cameras. Snap camera itself will be using, be using the Logitech camera. So if you try to use the Logitech camera while Snap Camera is open, it won't work. So you set your device to Snap Camera, and now anything that's configured in the Snap Camera or any filters that come up in the Snap Camera show up both on your streaming software and on uh, Snapchat. Um, so if you don't have a filter on, you won't have something like I have a little bit of color correction. I didn't even know I had that on, but you won't have this green screen. So there's no green screen effect. Um, if you just have a box stream, that's what it'll look like, but that's how you quickly set it up. Now let's go into some more in-depth information about snap filters and how you can use the extension. So I do want to do that. I want to hop into that. We're going to pop these filters back on. I know I have them on for a reason, I'm sure. And let's take a look at what this extension has available. So when you're installing this Twitch extension, essentially what it does is it gives you a way to reward tier one, tier two, and tier three subscribers with a different effect. So one of these effects will pop on for X amount of time. Now what you have to do is go to Twitch. Um, you can go to discovery and search the extensions. You can search for snap camera and I'm sure it'll come up. There it is, details, uh, and then you install it. There will be an install button for you. For me, it's a configure button. So I will go ahead and configure this or pretend like I'm configuring it. It will tell you to download the Snap Camera application. You've already done that. Now it'll want you to authorize Snap Camera. When you do that, you will click this button here and it'll send you to an authorization page. After you have authorized, you will be here. Now that you're here, you will be able to configure your subscription lenses this is what they this is what they call them so let's say you want this effect that i'm using right now this color effect to be your i, I have it as the eye pop i like the eye pop I, well i haven't even tried it this is gonna be my first stream with it but the eye pop is my tier one effect um, and i've set them for three minutes maybe that's too long maybe it's not but essentially this is my tier one this is my tier two this is my tier three and each one of these uh i can or i can't change per tier it looks like i can actually just set the activation period for each lens or for, for for all the lenses total so 10 seconds up to 10 minutes um, and then I can you, you can also enable lenses for resubscriptions and you can show subscribers a quick thank you now what this does um, in terms of the extension like how does the extension actually work uh, you got to ask that right uh, it so it, it gives you a a box in on top of your viewers where or on top of your stream that you can configure and position so if I take a look at my components right now the ones that I have activated I've got this component here I can reposition it and a component is essentially a a layer on top of your video so the video 
uh that you have is back here this pretend like this is your screen you're streaming this purple area right from here to here is your video and you get to put you get to position where your snap camera is going to be so i'm just going to put mine on the top left and this box will show up for viewers over top of the video overlay and maybe that will get me some more subscribers maybe people will have more fun with it i know that i personally like these filters i can turn them on anytime i want you can also set hotkeys to turn them on and off as you can see i just did it right there the hotkey settings and all of the other settings are available inside of the settings configurations you can also set a microphone you have the ability to take photos you can record videos there's quite a few options available in here so this is my first time opening the op uh, opening the application and i have found it pretty interesting and some lenses have an effect that you can trigger uh, and i have a hotkey set for that so let's see if i can find one that has an event that you have to trigger what's well, a triggering event yeah here we go cool cool i've got that was i like it i like it it's an, it's a nice triggered event all right it wasn't based on opening my mouth or anything like that <laughs> i think that's all guys thank you very much for checking out my video again i am navitz uh representing the esports team sploosh troop yes that's right if you guys have uh have enjoyed watching the video please like it and if you if you have qu questions or comments go ahead and comment and if you want to see more content subscribe i'll catch you guys next time peace out